action. Welcome back to coming this summer. I am Jay Bean Martin over there. Ryan, super bad sharp. Yo, it yo. is episode four. Yeah, I can't. Moon believe, Knight. I can't believe we're already on episode. Four. It goes quick when they do it this I way. Know. Well, uh, since the first uh, episode three was really episode one. So if, you, if of, you want to get a lot technical, of <laughs> yeah, we only get four episodes of Moon Knight, not a lot of build up. First yeah. two episodes, what well, man? I don't know. I don't know what to think of this one. Uh, it, it was it, cool at the end. It got real weird and zany and 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 right. Yeah, and you're definitely right about teasing the third personality. Like they both walk by the door at the end there. Spoilers again, by the way. Um, and that other sarcophagus is shaking violently, and they both choose to ignore it. Like, the other one was, and it was one of my personalities. Probably going to be one of my personalities again, right? But no, we'll skip yeah. that. Yeah. It, <sighs> yeah, they're cowards. I liked the overall episode. I thought the the first half we were talking, it feels like a Indiana Jones. It did. Kind of a national treasure. It was a vibe. wheel spinny thing, though, for sure. It was like yeah. all of that was just so that uh, the bad guys could all walk in the room Anyway, at the, at the same time. No Moon Knight this episode. Nope. In the Moon Knight show. I told you, remember my prediction? Knight. I told you, we well, wouldn't we, get him at all. We knew that, yeah. We, Khonshu's not coming back. They can't. He's not coming back till the very end, until the last episode. I think midway, and mid to end of next one. Costume. Mid mid to end of next one. Okay, that's, that's probably safe to assume. Next episode is going to be getting out and then getting Khonshu. Right. Right, yeah. But then you're going to find out about that third personality, right? No. Not until the end of the last episode. No, I think they're going to... They're like, who's that? That looks like Moon Knight, but slightly different again. He's got a, a cabbie's hat on, and he's he's Scottish? No, I don't need yeah, it. I, I don't, don't need the third personality. I I think the the, the episodes are fine with uh, with having two of them, having Steven and, and Mark. Now that we've had a little bit with Mark. Now you like them both? No, but like I like their dynamic like i don't like mark you know because he's very like <laughs> i still hate mark i still he's hate like him. the straight man right where he's like you know like everything's super serious all the time and we gotta like you know ratchet up to a thousand right like, right then he's like give me the body so i can be the fuck out of these people and we'll be fine and steven's That's like how you would be no yeah thank you <laughs> give me the body give me my beat some ass I, well yeah, ryan you're imprisoning my other yeah <laughs> maybe i am moon <laughs> Yeah, a moon knight without the fucking the gods to like. Uh, yeah, you're just thing. you're yeah. glitter knight. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm just an asshole. I'm just a douchebag. Like when they're arguing with each other, there's a lot of this. This is a very Layla heavy episode, but we do get some scenes where they're like going back and forth, and there's like a funny thing where like Mark is like, "I'll throw us off a cliff," you know, when they're like arguing at the end, they're like talking over each other and that what mark is just like screaming by the end of it and he's like i'll kill us i'll kill i'll kill us both like we'll both die i can just i can just kill us right now you're gonna drown yeah i think he's like you're gonna drown us you're both drown us. yeah yeah so but but the layla stuff i i don't know wait steve steven like kisses her in this episode which is like awkward as hell by the it, way i didn't like i know it. it's supposed I, to be awkward yeah, but damn yeah yeah it didn't it didn't no no nope. didn't land right no nope. no nope. no nope. no nope. No, especially no. Just it's like, am I cheating on my husband? Kinda, not really, but yes, but no. Yeah, you but smell like him. I'm well, really I guess, confused. <laughs> I guess you would. Like, what the, what the fuck bow, bow, bow. is happening? Here? Like, what? <laughs> you guys are about to descend into like the cave of death, right? And right before then, they're gonna get a little necking on. Yeah, and then he's like, "Oh, you Mark, smell good. Oh, Mark was pushing you away because there was a god, and he wants you as his avatar." And then, and she, that was his call. I'm like, and then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it got weird. There was wh- some wheel spinning. What? <laughs> we needed that so that we could get to the awkward cave scene where it's like, just tell me the truth. You know, like where Ethan Hawke is like, oh, you mean in the Pharaoh's tomb? I thought you were talking oh, about. Where I, I'm sorry, you're like, right. Spills all the beans, and he's like whispering, but she's already gone, and like he's like, I guess you didn't want to know. I know the truth about your about father. Your father. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, what? I heard that whisper from a good. 30 feet away you know what i mean Ugh. like yeah he like whispers a thing so is that like a voice projection i don't know this is definitely like, it's not a bad show but it's so far it's my least favorite for sure out of everything that's come out show wise it, it's gonna depend on my let's see the twist show you're right you're right until the end because Let, maybe they bring the the thunder yeah in in the last bit here but man i i can't remember because there were shows where i was lukewarm on uh, what if 
as it was coming out. Okay, I'm like, I guess because I watched it different than you. I love What If. I didn't know it was all gonna like tie in. But it did. They 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 brought it, it home like, at the end. Yeah, even though there was like a Honda commercial where they're all fighting Ultron bots together, like before the show even came out. Yeah, that's so weird. It's like, did you just spoil the fucking show in a Honda commercial? <laughs> Thank, thanks, Honda. <laughs> right? Thanks, Honda. Yeah. But, uh, uh, okay, so we get to the end, and they're in the sarcophagus, and, they, yeah, we were saying this earlier. They have to, like, argue, right? Like, literally, like, Mark yeah. comes back, and he's like, I will, we'll talk about it the, the second we the get thing. out of the cave. I got the thing, let's go. Right? We can save the day and not have everybody die. We don't let's need go. two more episodes. We don't need two more episodes, we can leave. We gotta go. Yeah, but the show, show has, has to happen. happen. <laughs> right, right. So she's gonna yell at him about something that... Clearly, she knew he was a mercenary. They've already hinted that. he, She was helping him with safe house and all that. And some job went sideways that he had no control over. You do get a reference there. He he says his partner shot him, and that is, like, the origin of Moon Knight, where he's, like, in the desert. That's when, like, Konshu finds him. Right. It's well, like, he basically admitted it at the yeah, night the his, night I got. His partner is uh, Bushman, which is, like... It's not a joke. That's his name. Mm. It's, it's like from the from the comics. It's Ooh, Bushman. Bushman. Yeah. Well, that was that's from like the, you know, like fucking what sixties. Oh, 70s, is he an African American gentleman? I honestly I don't know. Is that why you're? Co- oh. I, honestly, I don't know because Bushman know. could sound Bushman, very racist. Well, Bushman, it is. It, it, it's, it is. But I mean, it's from like the fucking you know whenever Moon Knight came out. Right. So like, people are saying he's casted in the show. Like, I also we're gonna know get who he is, but like I'm pretty sure. He's supposed to show up by the end of this series, and okay. I, that is a, a a reference to that when he's like, "My partner shot me" or whatever, because he got greedy. So he's like the bad guy. So, so or, how can you be mad at him? Like my partner backstabbed everyone, killed your dad, tried to kill me, left me for dead. Killed everybody. Right, killed, killed everybody. everybody else. Yeah, and me. And he tried to kill me. I only yeah. lived because of a god intervening. Yeah, so but you're right. Like, Hold a grudge. You know, like. I think it's because he, like, she's holding a grudge because he, like, didn't. Tell. How do you tell someone that, though? You know? And also, she's and she like, said, that's, that's the only reason that you that's know the me. we met. Right. Yeah, because she's, like, guilty. It's like uh, in Winter Soldier and Falcon. Okay. Like, Bucky oh, right. goes to that chick yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because he's, like, or helps, like, the grandpa. The old like, guy because he yeah, killed the. Right. And that's, like, his, his niece or whatever. Oh, uh oh. No. Uh oh. We lost you on camera. That's fine. That's okay. It'll just be my face. That's okay. For a sec. We blipped out. Anyway. Uh yeah, man. I uh, at the end of the episode we get like the the uh, insane asylum after he gets shot by Ethan Hawke and it like pans out, which is like another comic book reference to when it's like he gets put in this crazy crazy uh facility, the crazy farm, right? <laughs> and it's like they try and convince him that Moon Knight's not real. I love how he had the your action, action figure. figure. Yeah, literally. I was like, ah! yeah, yeah, right. I'm like, that's <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, he's like Steven, and Layla shows up, and she's like a a nurse or like another crazy. She's person. a nurse, but she's it says nurse, but then she's also crazy. crazy. Like in the, she's I was like watching with subtitles. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I won bingo, you know. And then uh, the hippo is the hippo the 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 oh, avatar man. god from the one episode with the chick who was like, there's another way, and was like being nice to Steven when he first met. I thought that was like supposed to be Amit, right? She's like, isn't she the hippopotamus crocodile thing? Like they were talking okay. about. Okay, I the thought. First one? I thought in that one episode where they had the first meeting of the gods, where they tell Kanchu if he screws around again, because remember she meets like with Seth, Stephen, Seth New or whatever, like the goddess Seth, of Seth whatever. Seth. That's why I feel like it was because that voice was real familiar. Like hello, like she was all happy to see him, and he's like, ah! you know, I don't know who the hell you are. Yeah, why does Kanchu sound like a nightmare? And Everyone else is all. Is yeah. like a valley girl. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> I got a frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. I mean. What is happening? Jada Pinkett Smith's more intimidating as the Madagascar hippo, you I know. But that's a whole different thing. Who, who voice casted her? It's gonna take me a second, but maybe I'll. Maybe we'll put that up in the post. Oh, she looks, hippopotamus she for moon night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hippopotamus for <laughs> moon. <laughs> it was weird. It was almost like I don't think it necessarily looked bad. I think it made it. It, it felt very Star Warsy. Okay, here. It, you know what I mean? Like, that looks like right the out of Goddess Tawaret, T A W E R E T Tawaret. Is that the one from? That's what I'm saying. Is that Tawaret. the one we only saw know. the Avatar of? She's got dreads. I think it is then. Ah, oh, Jesus. 
the hippo goddess. It's a chick, yeah. The goddess of hippos, or no? What is happening? The goddess of hippos. <laughs> I don't know, man. I d- it says who voices her, but I can't find. I can't find who it is. I want to know if it's like some, <laughs> some like uh, you know. Who are they going to cast as Hippo Goddess? You know, I think it's the say? chick that was in that one episode. That's what I'm saying. I think that's supposed to be... Because no, they sound like two different people. You mean the chick... Well, this is the god. The last episode? No, like, th- you met her avatar. Well, well, well but this when might she's be telling them, the, av- the god, like, leaves, right? Right. Like, but, but they all have, like... But they the all have voice. a connection to the to the gods, kind of, too. I don't know. I just feel like because they hinted around a lot that she was going to help him, and they left that kind of open. Okay. So I felt I like it was, I thought it was Amit, like the the person who they're supposed to like. Nah. Be stopping from. That would be too easy, man. Wouldn't it? Well, but I thought they were in like <laughs> some like spectral plane. I think they are, right? Whatever. Okay. It's very confusing. All right. I guess we don't know who voices her. This article says who voices her, and then doesn't tell you. Doesn't fucking tell you. What is that? <laughs> That's garbage. Anyway. Uh, Oscar Isaac's killing it. I'm glad we get more. Yeah, I mean, it's Hawk, it's it's good. Know. It's a good show, but you know, right now it's still only better than like Thor and Thor: Dark World. Right now, roughly, you know what I mean? It's like, definitely low. It's it needs it, yeah. to really, yeah. really bring it home. It's not bad. Again, it's not bad. I'm not mad. I don't hate it. I just it's very it's very low on the Marvel totem pole of things I would like to rewatch, especially on on like the shows. You know what I mean? Like the list of shows. This is definitely probably. Yeah, I probably won't rewatch this one. I'm not, not gonna lie. To I, you. It's not bad, but it's the worst out of the shows. Right. You know what I mean? No, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I can say I like all the Harry Potter movies, but I definitely think like the sixth one sucks and the last two suck. But you know, like oh, see, I, I don't, don't even think, think that. Bad. But I, I got don't think you. They're bad, you know. But like compared, you know, like you know what I'm trying hmm. to say. Like th- I rather watch WandaVision over this shit because well, we that get was Quicksilver, different and you know creative. I mean? like, and yeah, we get Speed and Wiccan and you know all this MCU shit. This one is like Moon Knights, eh? Mm-hmm. Hip- mm-hmm. Hippos, <laughs> eh, th- a third personality perhaps. You know, mm-hmm. fucking just give it to us, you fucking cowards! Like, don't stop teasing it. You should have given it to us from the very beginning. Episode one should have been. No blackouts. He's just got a different accent. Instead. What was the name of that god? Uh, Toweret. 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 T a w e r e t. All right. Toweret is credited for three episodes. Toweret. So through this one, two. So the, the uh, through the, the finale. One. Yeah. Wow. So that's gonna be a big, uh, big part, I think, of um. Is she <laughs> gonna be uh, an actual like. Character? I don't, I don't know. Are we gonna get that uh that pyramid zone from like the the third the third uh episode? Is it definitely seems like that's where they're headed. It's gonna be some kind of. It seems like a hangout well, zone. The beginning of the CW episode. Show, you know? The beginning of the e- oh yeah, like a Justice League, <laughs> like a hub. Yeah, the, the arrow cave. The big the beginning of the episode though. They really hung long on the camera pan of where they put Conchu with with all the other god statues. It makes me think we're gonna have some kind there's of god other off. Gods. Well, I think they're gonna release all. There's like that's, a god jailbreak. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's what I feel like is gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's fuck. That's awesome. Antonia Salib mm-hmm. voices Towerette. Yep, I got her pulled up right here. In Moon Knights. What has she been in? Nothing. <laughs> no, seriously, she's been in Moon Knight. Looks like. Oh, good. Cool. I like how they're doing that. A- they're doing like actress ADA. best known for Moon Knight. Nice. Hippo. <laughs> so. You get the voice. I thought she would have been in like some animated thing. That's weird that they didn't get like. It's weird. It's not like Beyonce. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I prefer like, to be a no name person, honestly. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, though? But yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a, such a weird episode. I thought, again, we got the tease of. Oh, you're in an insane asylum and you're running and things are crazy. Are you going to go up on the elevator and it's going to be the roof and the underworld scene? I'll put it up again. I did it in the fucking first episode because they tease it. Like Not yet. Jake Lockley. They tease it every fucking. They said it last time. They said it last time. Like, hopefully, this is setting up that the last two episodes will just be pedal pedal to the floor. It better be because. <laughs> I think so. I think we're going to get 20 more minutes of exposition to start off the next episode, and then it's pro- pretty much going to be 
Well, we'll get Khonshu back. Right. right. That's what I'm saying. The second that happens, that's it. It's I think it's got to be like the second half of next episode. It will. Is like Khonshu it will. stuff because like the s- second half of the last episode is going to be wrap up. You know what I mean? It almost like, has to. You know what I mean? Because like again, unless they leave it hanging, I know they have no guarantee to make more. But if they give you that to make you are want they more, throw Oscar Isaac out the window and make Layla like Moon Knight for like no. They're doing like the female thing. I know, I know, but I, I just doubt saw it. what Jane Foster looks like, and it's okay. she's buff, man. Did you see yeah. the behind the scenes pictures of her? Like yeah. she looked like she actually went and got. I want to see her in action instead of just a holding pose. You know, <laughs> that's like, all. She trained to hold, look good in just that pose. Yep, that's the only scene we get from the side. She's all flabby. Yeah, you know, she only trained. I to... just if if Moon Knight <laughs> maybe had some Guns and Roses, you know, in the Guardians of the Galaxy, I'd like it more. You know what I mean? Put Moon Knight in space. Put him in space. Give him the Phoenix. Do all the things the comic books do. We're not getting a break either, are we? From Moon Knight to Miss Marvel. It picks like right up. I think we get like No, Miss Miss Marvel's June. Okay. Right? Oh, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. But do- okay, Doctor Strange, Wait, I Doctor mean. Strange it goes right into yeah, Doctor yeah. Strange. And then like Adelaide. literally the yeah. finale is like Wednesday and then Doctor Strange will be out that Friday. Like there is yeah. no break. There is just right into Hmm. It's a, the Chinese New Year is going to be Year of the Marvel. You know <laughs> what I mean? Year of the Marvel. Nice. Yeah. All right. Like, subscribe. Tell us what you thought of the episode. Um, the show is running between a seven and an eight for me right now. You know, it's it, it changes vastly during the episode, which is what I, I don't know. Okay. The, the director. I. It's just something's not. We'll see. Again, it might all tie together. Maybe it all. Maybe it won't. And maybe <laughs> I'll be really upset. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. You're welcome.